Good day, everyone. Uh, thanks uh, for watching. We have here Carl W. Filder, who is the chairman of the Neutral Fuels Group based in Dubai. Thanks, Carl, for joining us. Why don't you walk us through your journey as an entrepreneur? At the end of 2006, and decided that just making money out of the tech startups was really not very useful when it comes to trying to help the planet. I really needed to focus the rest of my time, the rest of my entrepreneurial effort, on working out ways of bridging that gap between sustainable technologies and these huge organizations that need to use them. And we formed the business, a neutral group, uh, at the end of 2006. In 2010, we put together Neutral Fuels after we'd worked with McDonald's for a while and looked at their strategy. And we found that they could be self-sufficient in fuel if only they could convert all of their waste cooking oil into biofuel. So we started working with them. That then led to a lot of other companies. This year, we've started supplying Adnoc as well as Enoc. We've had an Enoc relationship for about five years, but we're now supplying Adnoc as well for their offshore vessels. So going in ships for the first time. And in the last two years, we've seen massive increase in uptake of awareness of people wanting our fuel, people coming to us and asking to buy the fuel. We made the first biofuel in the Middle East ever in 2010. Since then, we've now got probably 10 times more production capacity in the UAE. And we've certainly got a huge amount of capacity in the four plants that we've got up and running now. And we've been able to expand into other countries as well and take our know-how that we built here in the UAE and take it to those other countries and teach new people about this. What's your production rate now? In the UAE, we're, we're producing over a million liters a month. Around the region, it's going to be more than double that by the end of this year. So the growth is, is almost infinite in how much we can grow. If you think that in many more developed fuel markets like Europe and uh, the States, they've mandated that you have to put biofuel into all fuel. Now, if we did that, we'd have to dramatically increase our production as well. I'm not looking for that. I'm trying to make the most difference that I can and innovate as much as I can so that we can show people that these things are possible. And certainly to take the example of neutral fuels, we took a technology that was pretty good from another country and we introduced it into a new market modifying the business model and modifying the technology so that in a market that doesn't have any of the subsidies that exist in the overseas markets and actually making it economically viable and profitable in a new market by modifying things. And that is one way that companies can quickly open up a new market. It's a branch of entrepreneurism and a, a method for branching into new markets. You started an oil business in uh, one of the oil capitals of the world. Are you branching out to other areas? We've got four factories now. I'd like to be at 10 factories by the end of next year. And my plan is to try and put a neutral fuels facility in every city that has more than a million people. Because we've done the calculations, we've proved the economics now. If you have a million people, you have enough waste oil that you can justify having one of our factories. And that generates enough biofuel that you can then run your school buses, you can run your municipal trucks, you can run all sorts of things for just that city. So it's what we call the local, local, local strategy. Local sourcing of raw materials, local production and local sales. And that's being adopted by sustainable businesses all around the world and it's a different way of working. But we'd like to do that in every city of more than a million people. And we think there's about 50 of those uh, within four hours of here. So. I think that there's still a lot of growth that we can achieve. What would you consider uh, as your biggest uh, challenge at the moment? The biggest issue that we face is actually awareness and education amongst the people that are running the truck and the bus fleets. Many of them have never seen biofuel before and they don't seem to understand how easy it is to move over from running fossil fuels to running a sustainable fuel. It requires them to take what they might regard as a leap of faith. I would point out this 30 years of proof. And indeed in the UAE, if you've eaten anything from McDonald's in the last nine years, it's been delivered to that store using only our fuel. There's no fossil fuel at all. And if you've been able to eat your food there, then you've been the beneficiary of our fuel. So you don't really need to trust that much, but, but that education process and people generally don't like change. I think they, 
they think, well, this works and it, it means I can lead my life and I don't have too many stresses. And I come along and say, yeah, but I want you to run a totally different fuel in your, in your vehicles and it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Look at McDonald's, look at Del Monte, look at Nestle, look at Emirates Airline, who this week announced that they're using our fuel. Look at Adnop, they're buying our fuel from us. Look at Enoch, they're running it as well and selling it to their customers. And still people say to me, Carl, I want to test it because I'm not sure it works. That's my biggest challenge. In order to address the challenges that all of us face now, we have to use both halves of our brain. And I'm a great fan of, of trying to make everybody realize that this challenge that we have is, is both a serious challenge and something that we can overcome. So in addition to launching my book, uh, to tell other entrepreneurs how to do some of these things and encourage them to go into the sustainability space, I'm also launching an album of original music, which uh, will go on sale on the 24th of October. And that album is also promoting the book, is also promoting the idea of sustainability and entrepreneurism. I'm just trying to attack the market in every which way I can. Thankfully, I've got enough talents that I can pull together a, a musical album, I can pull together a book, and hopefully pull together a successful IPO. Uh, and all of these things bundled up together, that is Neutral Fuels. That's Carl Filder of uh, uh, chairman of the neutral group based in Dubai. Thanks for your time and uh, really enjoy the conversation. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.